And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. I can't wait for this, Lee. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final. But with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. So we can check on the starting lineup. Wing backs are important in this setup. Did you enjoy your experience of playing at wing back, Lee? Not at all. Under Bruce Rock, it's a very, very demanding role, as we can see. The full backs are exposed both offensively and defensively. Lots of support inside them, but going forward, they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front. So here is the lineup. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation 4 4 2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre backs. Very solid look about this team. Thank you, Anthony. Enjoy the match. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. Given away. And they are on the move again. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Carrying it. Now he's got to stay calm. He's likely asking himself, why did I shoot from so far out? Well, he's not the only one. I'm asking him and all his teammates are too. Read it superbly to take back possession. And threading it forward. Giving them a different option by moving in field. And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten goes where it did do.
they've given it away. An awful lot of green space to run into. Tremendous intuition to win it back. It is to be a throw-in. Useful cross towards the near post. Not fantastic defending. Can they take the lead? And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. In a position from which they could potentially do... Can they square the game? Well, fortune didn't favour him. Off the post and out of play. Well, he's really unlucky. It was worth an effort, that's for sure. Job done, ball one. Highly purposeful attack this, the emphasis on getting the ball forward. Relentless high pressing. A chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it. The referee has dished out a yellow card here. Well, it's not malicious, it's just clumsy. Well, that was anything but a textbook header, Lee. Well, to be fair to him, it's not the easiest of chances. He's just caught you off the top of his head, really. He has plenty of support. Crossed into the penalty area. Not really the ideal clearance. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely yellow card, Derek.
It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And crossed in there. Thumped clear. Oh, he fancies his chances. Still alive. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Give it away. Now, what can he do here? Well, can he make this move count? Lost it. looking position you've got to say and now passing it through Fine cross into the middle. And well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. He's driven in the corner. Clattered away. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And it's played into the centre. The keeper really had work to do after that header came in. Marks out a 10 for the save lead. I'll give him an 8. No, 7. Fourth official has indicated. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Showing fine vision. And given away. Half time. And from the neutral point of view, a cracking first half in this UEFA Europa League final league. Well, from everybody's point of view, it's been an absolutely brilliant game. I've enjoyed every single second of it. We've had incident, we've had tactics, we've had all sorts, confrontation. Bring it on. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. And a good looking ball. The outcome is a goal kick here. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, you're right, he has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Give it away. around him a cross there that was decidedly ordinary priority was to hang on to the ball which he did terrific block there not too fussy in clearing his lines
And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Very much run of the mill as saves go. A really sumptuous ball delivered into the area here. Highly purposeful attack this, the emphasis on getting the ball forward. Well, goalkeepers will sometimes make it look more spectacular than it needs to be. Well, he made a massive meal of that one, didn't he? The referee is given a corner. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And over comes the corner. Thumps clear. Well, can he make this move count? He might be able to profit from the wide position. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. And fired from the flank into the area. He's found himself dispossessed. In position here to protect the ball. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely a yellow card, Derek. Elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Into the box it goes, and they deal with the threat this time. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think he can think anything else after that challenge. So two substitutes to come on in one go.
ground to make up and perhaps this corner can assist them corner kick played in and the cross is very much on Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Over it comes. And they slot it home. Space and time for the cross. Taking care of business defensively here. And dispossessed. They've given it away. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. There's the feed into the box, and he's clear his lines. 15 minutes remaining. Is he going to punish them here? Carrying a genuine threat here. He's given us away. Now, what can he do here? Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he's scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. And over comes the corner. And a no-nonsense clearance. Ten minutes left for play in this match. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, can he make this move count? Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Thumps clear. Given away. Well, let's see, does he mean business? Will there be a tangible... Nothing wrong with that idea. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Just wanted to get it out of there. Crossed into the penalty area. Well clattered away. It is to be a throw-in. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. And it's played into the centre. And the danger clear. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. They're showing a real commitment to passing the ball forward. But now, let's see what comes next. Options around him. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. 
giving the ball to the opposition that time. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Three minutes of time. Job done, ball one. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. And quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. It's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. Very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now. The trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions, and they'll be looking forward at moments like this. They've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure, Derek. It's going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, it's their trophy as well, and they play a huge part in a club season, not only domestically, but in competitions abroad they travel far and wide to watch this team and they're celebrating and sharing this moment absolutely fantastic